I'm purpose driven because um, uh, I'm here being mayor not because I'm the smartest person in the world or even deserve the position. I'm here because there are people, many of whom I don't even know, uh, have done things and sacrificed things so that somebody like me can be mayor. I don't, I don't think he changes much. And, and, and I think that's a tribute to his character and his and how he was raised and what he thought he could bring to this job you know i was um, uh, raised in central uh, since i was 13 years old and um central as you know is is, is is can be was at that time and can be now a very problematic place so i was always uh, uh, I always had the ability to size up people and situations pretty quickly because I needed it as a survival tool. I remember the day when he said, I'm gonna run for city council. He ran for city council, was successful. He became city council president, and from there he ran. In 2005, he launched his campaign to be mayor of the city of Cleveland. Well, the unique thing about Frank when he was elected mayor, he was the first mayor in, I think, since the 1860s to be mayor from the council presidency. A lot of people didn't realize he was never very much politically motivated. Most people have ambitions or dreams about what they want to do in life and all. I, I never had one. You can never serve who you disdain. Never. I'm here because they put me here. They have allowed me to be here to serve them and to serve the purpose for which I'm here. There were inequities and the mayor found ways to level the playing field for people and he did a great job of that. The reason why I thought he ran in 2005, I, I would say that it was because he wanted to see, among other things, resident employment, and uh, uh, minority employment uh, paid attention to in an intentional way. The measure of a mayor, I believe, is the ability to first articulate a vision, motivate other people to adopt that vision, and then having the wherewithal to implement. I don't know if there's anybody more responsible for bringing the, the Republican convention um, back to Cleveland. With breaking news about the 2016 Republican National Convention, we've just learned the site selection committee of the Republican Party has recommended Cleveland. He wanted it here. He, as a Democrat, worked hand in hand with the Greater Cleveland Partnership. I was in some of those meetings. I said, the mayor wants us to raise the money to have the convention here. And people were very much afraid that there was going to be trouble. But Frank Jackson went into the neighborhoods. He, with his police chief, uh, Calvin Williams, they made the difference. Well, I think Frank has been able to garner resources for the city of Cleveland through federal grants. He's been able to bring money into Cleveland. I know for a fact, as a business owner, that I've benefited from the Cleveland Development Relief Fund. It's really helped and made an impact. All of the issues that have been important to the city of Cleveland, he's moved the needle where you can actually measure it. I think that he's done a great job of really trying to help this city grow. He's been able to deal with putting policies in place that will then drive practices that enable things to open up. He would leave a legacy that he fulfilled his duty and responsibility providing needs for the people of the city of Cleveland. I have a responsibility and an obligation uh, to those who have gone before to do the things that I should be doing, not for my own personal benefit or preservation, Sometimes you don't risk 
uh, in order for someone else to have the same opportunity. Hey everyone, I'm Samuel L. Jackson. I guess somebody would know that. But um, I just want to say a few words about uh, Mayor Jackson and my experience uh, there in Cleveland working when I was there. Um, I had a, an incredible time and it was a wonderful opportunity for uh, us to be in a community of uh, people that were welcoming and joyous and glad to have us in your community working. Uh, it was an honor and pleasure to meet Mayor Jackson. I really enjoyed spending time with him and hanging out in his community, meeting his family, uh, and seeing all the work that he's done there and how he's unified that, that particular community. So it's really, um, honor and pleasure to stand here and say, you know, congratulations on all those terms you've had there in that city. Man, I'm sure that's a record that probably will not be broken. Uh, congratulations. <laughs>